Ah, there we are. Hello, everybody. How are you today? It's Robin John of Rosenhaus. Um, late, better late than never today. Ma'am, I could not wait to sit, get down here and take a look at what today's energy has been because it has been a morning over here. We woke up to no water and um, then we discovered an excess of water. <laughs> the, the water line that leads from the street to the house um, broke someplace. It looks like pretty much against the house, it looks like it broke. Um, and so while there was no water coming out of our faucets, there was water coming into our basement. Um, but it was one of these days where, and I'm going to get into your reading, but there's, there's a lesson here. There's always a lesson, right? Um, it was, it was just such an interesting way that this came about. Um, I woke up this morning and, um, you know, I thought it was earlier than, than what it actually was when I looked outside and, um. And, and, you know, I had to go to the bathroom, but I have a routine in the morning, right? I, I do my morning pages, then I write my goals, then I write my intentions. And, and then I listen, then I, you know, do my, my mastermind and that's the routine, right? Um, and today I was just like, oh, I don't feel like going to the bathroom. I'm going to sit in bed and and write my, my goal, uh, do my morning pages, you know, do my morning brain dump. And it was like, mm, you know what, I'm going to go to the bathroom first, then then I'll sit down and, and I'll start writing. And so, you know, you go to the bathroom, and, and it didn't even click that when I flushed the toilet that the water didn't go back in. Um, it did click once I went to wash my hands and there was no water in the sink. So then you're like, ugh. So you go in the kitchen, no water. So now I'm like, what the heck? So, um, my office is in, in the basement. David's office is in the basement. We have a rec room down here, the whole thing, right? And there's a finished area and an unfinished area. And, um, we were down here yesterday because I'm, uh, I'm getting a new exercise bike delivered on Thursday. So we were moving things around. And so we put some extra furniture in the, in the work area. And my son had just gotten a, a brand new suitcase and he put it in there. And I've been saying to David, you know, we really, you know, we have to look into something to, to raise this kind of stuff off the ground, at least in here. You know, there's nothing we can do if the water seeps into the finished part, but at least in here so that, you know, we don't lose everything if we get a flood. Now, we have what's called a French drain around the space and we have a sump pump. We have all that. You know, but still, for whatever reason, this thing with the water has been coming through uh, quite a bit. And um, so we were like, all right, you know, when we put everything in there, it was, we, we kept it in mind. And, and we started to, you know, look at options to just lift the stuff off the floor a little bit. And, and we were also just making a mental note of the stuff that we didn't need anymore in there. So when I come downstairs today, I was like, I was thrilled to see, you know, that the finished part of the basement was dry. And then when I went into the work area, the unfinished part, it was like, oh, it looks like it's dry. And then I hear the water pouring in and it's coming, it's like pouring in through the cinder blocks. You know, that's not good. <laughs> And Dave, but David was still home. It was early. So like I caught this all early. So David was still home. And, um, and so he came downstairs and, and then the next way you know, like the, the, the French drain is not holding now. The water is starting to leak in, but then he noticed that there was a clog. And, and so French drain is just like this, um, like a groove that goes around the the perimeter of the of the basement so that it the water has a place to drain if, instead of flowing over um and we have the sump pump um so 
uh, uh, David noticed that there was a clog in, in the French drain or whatever. So he got that out and the water was contained again and um, got the town to turn off the water. And so now we are going to be without water for about five days. This is going to be fun. Um, <laughs> hence the no makeup because um, it takes a lot of water and makeup remover, you know, to, to remove the makeup and I'm just you know, trying to conserve. Anyway, the point of this is, and it actually goes right along with today's reading. The point of this is pay attention when you get those quick thoughts, right? Now, I didn't have like this, oh my God, danger, danger, Will Robinson kind of experience, right? But for the past, I would say, week or so, water has been on my mind when I come down here. And, and I don't take that lightly. So I have been paying attention and I have been like watching and checking for leaks and, and, uh, and doing the practical stuff to see um, what it is that's causing this continuous little niggle, this continuous little, you know, message, we'll call it, to um, pay attention to the water. Um, but the thing is, when you, when you keep getting those messages and you stay open, then, you know, you'll get that impulse to not stay in bed longer, right? Because if had I stayed in bed another 10 minutes, then we would have ended up with the flood in the basement. It was really literally the difference between getting David downstairs, David and, and David finding the, the clog that, excuse me, that would have made everything not work <laughs> and, and, and not finding it. It was literally the difference. So I'm, I'm super grateful for that, you know, and um, and so, yeah, there's, there's, so, so the point of this is, okay, when you're getting those messages today in general, um, don't let them, um, create fear in you. Okay. Um, there's great healing in this, like situations like this when you listen and pay attention and just remain aware because you're not going to get that that clarity like there's you know some people maybe would have gotten it you know beforehand hey go get the you know the water line checked out um assuming you could get a plumber who would pay attention to you right um some people might get that message and be like, oh, okay, let me get the plumber and blah, blah, blah. But most of the time, it's just this little pay attention to water, pay attention to water in the basement, pay attention to water in the basement. And then when you have that, oh, I don't feel like getting up, you pay attention when it's like, oh, you know what? I should get up. Let me get up. I will get up. You know, it helps you to override the natural inclination of there's nothing wrong. I don't see anything wrong. I can hold, I can wait. I really want to write through my morning pages. I really want to get these done. It helps you override that. And what that does, when you pay attention to all of that and act on all of that, your intuition, it helps you to create a much deeper level of self-trust and trust in the universe in general. You have to remember that you do have some, you don't have control over everything that goes on in life, but you have some control um, uh, uh, over how you view life, okay? And, and all of that. Like, am I bummed? You know, the dude said it's going to be like a minimum of, of or something. He's like, I don't know, waiting for an estimate. He's like, these things usually run around $6,000. Like, am I bummed I'm going to have to put out $6,000 for something that, you know, you can't see, it's not pretty. 
<laughs> you know, or something like that. Yeah, I'm totally bummed about it. But holy crap, it's, you know, freezing out. Um, I have heat, I have electricity, I have um, internet, right? Um, we have, you know, safe shelter. We have gas in the cars. There's food in the refrigerator. And nothing got ruined. Nothing got ruined. Right, so that's where I'm choosing to focus on that and I'm choosing to focus on being grateful that I have reached the point in, in my growth where I trust those intuitive nudges enough to remain aware not, you know, not put a huge judgment on it, not to create this huge big conclusion about it. It's just enough to remain aware. It's like, okay, some kind of message is coming through. I don't know what it is yet. We'll find out, you know. And then, you know, so everything is just being handled. Right, so you know, and so in our case, we just went out and we bought seventy-six <laughs> gallons of water, um, you know, mainly mainly so that we're able to flush the toilets over the next couple of days. I mean, you know, the rest of the stuff we I, I bought some, you know, disposable. And I don't like to do this, but you know, we bought disposable um, uh, utensils and we and dishes and even things to cook in. Right, this way it's just, we can have some semblance of, of normalcy within the house, right? Um, and and just go from there and, and, and adapt. And, you know, and again, you know, it, it, everything just, it, it, the, the worst situation in, happened in the best way, partly because and, and this is why it's just so important for you guys to, um, you know, like be aware of your intuition and, and people like people get um, uh, like upset, we'll say, they'll say, oh, you know, I, I didn't, my intuition was wrong again and blah, blah, blah. A lot of times that happens because, you know, we're creating, uh, we're coming to some kind of um, unconscious conclusion. So if, if you can just be in that space of, like I said, just remaining aware so that you can really, uh, tap into those little messages, right? I mean, I, you know, again, I, I'm not thrilled. I mean, um, it's, it's tough, especially, you know, David, Andrew, and Chris, both, all three of them, you know, work out in the public and, and um, you know, it, it's certainly with, with the, the, the virus and all of that, you know, generally they come home and, and they shower and things like that. And so they're not going to be able to do that. And okay, you know, fine. I mean, there's other, other things other ways that, you know, we can make things work. I have other, um, tools available so that, you know, they can at least get clean and we can all get clean, you know, and there's, there's gym memberships and things like that as well. So, you know, there's stuff there, there's, there's just so much of this is about perspective and, and that's what I'm saying. So, you, you know, your perspective controls more of your destiny than you believe. Okay, so, uh, you know, it, I, again, I, I could have um, let this thing, <laughs> in my hair, I could have let this thing um, throw me off to such a, a degree that I couldn't show up for you, right? Now, I'm showing up unmade up, a little unkempt looking, <laughs> you know, um, but, but that's okay because I can still show up, I can still deliver what is, this message is here to talk about. And what's bothering me is I've got these three long hairs in front of my face, which have nothing to do with being, with having access to water or not. 
Um, you know, but I can still, I can still show up here and still be, you know, my goofy self and still talk to you about this message today and, you know, and just a, a better way of using your intuition as a way of, of learning how to trust yourself. Trust that you can take care of yourself. Trust that you've got your back, right? I mean, I, it, it makes all the difference in the world. It really does. It just makes all the difference in the world. So that's what I have for you today. Just really pay attention to the repetitive messages. Pay attention to those quiet little feelings, right? Those little tweaks. It very rarely, your intuition, unless you're in um, deep danger, your, your intuition very, very, very rarely yells. It's usually just these quick little quiet nudges that we tend to ignore and then later on go, oh, that's what it was, right? So when you get those little nudges, whether it's relating to your business or to life today, pay attention. And again, don't come to a conclusion. Just, you know, it's like, okay, water. I'm not going to go looking and, and well, in my case, it was basement and water. And, um, did I remember? Le yeah. And it was like, I kept, I kept, I, I was hyper-focusing on getting the, the pipes to the, um, the outside water spigots, um, covered up and warm because, um, that was the way the message was coming to me. That's right. It comes to you in ways you understand. Um, I kept feeling like it was going to freeze and then it was going to break. Now, the thing is, in, in one of our previous houses, we had that experience where we didn't get it, um, the water shut off early enough and, and it ended up bursting into the basement, of course, in the finished basement, but it, you know, it wasn't a big deal. Um, and so like that message kind of comes through in a way that you can understand, right? So I was hyper-focusing on that. And at the same time, I was like, every time I came down here, I was like, you know, and I'm down here several times a day. It's like, oh, no, no, no water, no water, no water. I walk in the other room. No, nope, no water. So today it was water, <laughs> but not, not from the way I thought it was going to be. Right? So that's the whole thing. This is just all about paying attention to your intuition so that you can gain a deeper self-trust um, and also so that you can shift your perspective and not feel like you are at the mercy of life and the universe. If I sat here and focused on only the, the $6,000 or so that, you know, it's going to cost to, re, to repair, um, I, I wouldn't be able to show up for you. I'd be walking around complaining and everything else. And instead, it's like, okay, that's part of it. We'll deal with it. We got the money, you know, blah, blah, blah. Not the what I want to spend it on. Oh, well, no big deal. We'll just handle it and look at everything else that is okay. You know, just look at everything else that is fine. It could have been so much worse. And so that is really, you know, for you guys, it, you know, it's okay to feel like crap when, when shit happens and just look at the entire picture, right? That's all I'm, I'm saying to you. Um, I'm, I don't ever want you to devalue your experience and I want you to look at the entire picture because that will make the difference between um, being able to manage what goes on or being managed by it. So you can either manage life or let life manage you.
And frankly, it's a heck of a lot easier when you can manage it. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, I will be back here tomorrow to bring you your daily energy report um, at my regular time, which is usually between 9.30 and 10 um, Eastern time. Thank you so much for putting up with this being late. And I hope you have a phenomenal day. Remember, when you align your energy, you accelerate your results. And if you want to... um, get a, an outside look at what might be coming up for you and check in on your intuition, go ahead and schedule an energy reading. They are over on the website, robinjrosenhouse.com. Um, click on work with me. You'll see in the drop down menu, they're called energy readings. And, you know, it's, it's my version of what other people call psychic readings. I call them energy readings because I know that we have more control over our future. Um, and so I just feel like with psychic readings, it, it just holds that energy of, oh, this is what's coming up. Um, I can't do anything about it. Whereas what the information I provide you, um, allows you to know what's coming up so that you can do something about it. And we usually come up with, with ways of mitigating any negative energy that's coming up and leveraging the good energy. So that's over at robinjrosenhouse.com. Click on the work with me and you'll see energy readings. And that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a phenomenal day. Bye-bye.